Okay, so finally last night managed to get things uh, far enough assembled that I think today is going to be the big day for the first test ride. So trying to remember what you may or may not have seen. I think the last thing I showed was the, the throttle and the start of the motor controller all coming together. So that's all fairly well wired up now. Uh, the only thing I'm actually using on this connector here is the on-off for the main contactor. And on this one here, currently the only thing I think I've got wired up is, is this one here, which goes to the throttle underneath. See there I've got a charging port, a fuse charging port, kind of good to go. I have got the, um, the shunt kind of just temporarily wired up, going to the little display there. So we should be able to just see while I'm riding uh, what it's what it's actually doing current wise that was the main thing i wanted to see is just how much current this is actually going to draw going and then um yeah it's kind of a little bit invisible but i've got a, a reverse diode there for the for the flyback when you when this uh, big thing turns off the, the big um contactor and underneath there not quite so visible as i've got a um a little self-made solid state relay switch that will um be able to control the 80 volts that switch the contactor on and off using just the 12 volt from the bike so that's just a, a temporary circuit that i built in there and then there's also a, the white one and there is just a pre-charged resistor uh, which goes from your main power and then just bypasses the contactor into the controller so you've got the, the pre-charge working so it's all looking pretty good um, all the motor wiring everything down here is pretty tight i do need to print some covers that can go over those motor contacts because um you know turning it on and actually touching that you will actually notice 80 volts it's it's substantial um yeah see if there's anything on this side nothing special i've uh i've got the old sprocket back on the bike so that's the standard steel sprocket from the bike uh going to the like the standard steel sprocket from the front that's all looking fairly good everything pretty much good enough to give it a try now i think i'm just gonna quickly go over everything one more time see that everything is uh tight Make sure the tires have some air in them. These are still the old tires that the bike sat in the shed with for ages. So they're very perished and very bad condition. So as you can see there, so definitely going to replace them. Uh, but yeah, so let's have a look here. Ignition on. Uh, nothing happens at the moment. Um, switch the main. Uh, the engine run stops. So and now we've got uh, life happening here in the controller. And then very unexcitedly if i use this hand to change the throttle you get this thing working so nothing super exciting uh, just like that i haven't got the regen braking wired up yet that's the the relay for that uh, from the old system that's going to wire into this connector here not too fussed about the regen braking right now i know that's generally going to work but uh, yeah, let's get uh, get down the driveway and go give it a try. See what kind of current it's going to draw. One, two, three. Okay, so I just took it for a ride up and down the driveway, uh, definitely doing the business with the new motor. Not sure how visible it was, but I was um, basically maxing out the current at about 130 amps or so, which is about what I can do with the batteries that I've currently set up. And um, definitely have substantially more torque than the first generation, but that would be expected. It's probably doing about twice as much power into the motor. Uh, everything's working pretty much as expected. I've got the uh, got the small sprockets, and motor controller. Obviously, there was no actual heat in any of the electronics. Everything was was doing what I was expecting. So yeah, current uh, current feeling about the subject is very optimistic. Uh, I'm going to quickly take the two wheels off and re get those tires replaced tomorrow, so get some new tires on. So hopefully this weekend I'll be able to take it around the the block a couple of times and actually try it. Um, you know on the open road and then uh, yeah finish tidying everything up and probably next week sometimes start looking at um, going through the low volume vehicle certification process so yeah i'll let you guys know how that goes cool later